What's up guys, it's Jen. I'm back with a layout share. Um, I did a few layouts and I didn't do process videos, but I just wanted to share them with you so I can put them away. Um, this gold vellum piece, I believe that's the Studio Calico Amelia. Um, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on it, but I liked how it was like, you know, how it has the the globe, the geotag, the suitcases, the glasses, the phones, and the laptops, and the pencils, because we were in North, uh, New York City, and I was taking a selfie. We were on the rooftop of our hotel, and I was taking a selfie, and my hubby decided to photobomb my selfie. So this is an old photo. Um, actually, it's from May of from last year, and I dug deep into my stash for like some random stuff like this these papers are from creative agenda and these embellishments are from Heidi Swap's September Skies um, this is from Pink Paisley Good Day Sunshine um, this is Amy Tan one of her cameras that I cut out I made this flare this is Amy Tan and then these are some thickers um, like some, I don't know what they're called. And then I added some black stitching. I was going to do some journaling all around, either journaling where I was going to do stamping or something. I was going to do some kind of border, but I ended up doing black stitching and, um, I kind of messed up up here. So there's like a ton of holes up there. And then, um, but everywhere else, I don't know. I just can't keep a straight line. Look at this. But my sewing machine only does one stitch, which is okay with me. I mean, I can always break out my mom's bigger sewing machine, which does a lot more stitches, but I don't know how to use it. I mean, I'm sure it can't be that much different than my sewing machine. So that is one layout. This layout, this next layout is um, all over the place. I mean, I basically just had a lot of fun, you know, playing around with and pretty embellishments and um, I can't remember who it was but um, somebody had done a layout about their craft room and I thought that was such a great idea because I wanted to do a layout on my craft room this is my craft room here I have my Ikea Alex drawer my white L desk and then I have um, this is an Ikea shelf up here and then I have my paintings all around and then um, I have my two Razcogs and I painted this one a baby, light baby pink. And I have a sewing machine here and this says magical and this says make pretty stuff. And um, I added some stitching over here with white stitching that but you can hardly even see it. And then I have this um, typewriter. Well, see, first it says, hello, happy place, favorite memories. Um, it's basically talking about how I document my favorite memories. And then in this little jar here, I have um, little gold hearts and you sprinkle it with fabulous. And I have a pair of scissors here and I have my paintbrush here. And these are all papers from, um, what is that line called? You guys know the line, um, craft market. So it says be crafty and start something. And then I put down here, create to remember. Um, and then I have this weird hello chipboard banner. Um, so this one's kind of all over the place. Like you can hardly see the photos because I feel like it just gets lost in all of the patterned papers and just all of the embellishments and it's just, but you know what? I had a ton of fun making it, like just putting stuff together, no mixed media and just, you know, just regular scrapbooking with paper and embellishments. So that was fun. Um, then I did this layout with uh, Citrus Bliss papers. Like on this text paper at the top, it says, in the garden, pedal pushers, smile for the camera, a breath of fresh air, April showers, you are my sunshine, beautiful day in the garden, stuff like that. And this is a photo of my daughter. We go to 
this local farm that has a ton a ton of tulips just fields and fields of beautiful tulips and you can pick them and um, sometimes they have Dutch iris and they have like all these other flowers it's really beautiful and they stagger the flowers so that you can pick them you know when they're um, blooming and these yellow rubber thickers are from Freckled Fawn up here I just made a bunch of banners and I stapled this tag up here and then I stamped with my Amy Tan stamp it says this was awesome this happened remember this um, I can't remember where this wood veneer is from, but I added some stitching and you can see that I kind of messed up here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I just have some random papers. I believe this is, um, Maggie Holmes. It's an old Maggie Holmes. This is, um, Freckled Fawn and, um, the stickers Freckled Fawn. This punch is Martha Stewart. And then this wood veneer is freckle fun and then I just use a little bit of my green twine and then I just added some stitching down here to the bottom which you can hardly see so I like how this came out because um, it's so bright and colorful and I hardly have um, any green and yellow layouts so I like to have variety and something different and I thought it brought out the colors from the tulips it's very pretty and my last layout is a layout of my cat Butters. This is my first layout. Butters has made an appearance in my Project Life album, but um, I haven't done a lot of layouts of her. So these strips are from a My Mind's Eye collection. I'm not sure what collection that is. This is from the Citrus Bliss Wood Veneer collection. This, These cat papers are the Studio Calico Baxter collection. Um, and I did some stitching there along the side there and, um, this is Maggie Holmes. Um, this is an Amy Tan stencil that I used with some Tim Holtz, um, abandoned coral distress paint. This says kitty cat, cat nap, and meow. And I have some homemade flare that I made. Down here, this is some on-trend uh, rub-ons, some banners that I made myself, and then I added some yellow thread here, um, here and here, and I love this paper. And then um, over here, I did Butter's Scotch, because that's her name. And then I just stamped You Are Loved, and then I have another flare button, I did some Sprinkles with some Heidi Swap. I have some enamel dots that uh, Rhonda sent me. And Heart Music Soul RJ. And I have some rub ons. And then here's another one of those uh, seven paper Studio Calico wood veneers, the cats. So um, I really, really had fun with this one. I want to scrap more pictures of um, Mochi and Butters, which is my dog and my cat. So yeah, those are my layouts. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm being like super duper quiet, but both of my kids are napping right now. So um, I just wanted to get this video in or this layout in to my video real quick. Um, this is totally Eri Eri inspired. Um, I just used the Dear Lizzie Serendipity um, stencil with some dilution sprays and then I backed it on some I believe this is chicken nitty chicken nitty paper I'm not sure what this black and white striped uh, paper is um, this is from pink paisley um, that unicorn embellishment kit I can't remember is this is Heidi Swap this is Maggie Holmes this is um, Martha Stewart punch and these are the beautiful die cut flowers that I made with the Maggie Holmes die. I made this, um, I'm going to have to do a video on this die set because the paper that I used with this is that like ombre 12 by 12 pad that you get from Michael's that was on sale for like $5. It's so amazing. Um, these papers in the background are just from Dear Lizzie, Fine and Dandy. And I made this, um, black scalloped border, which is stitched. And I made that with the um, Lawn Fawn die. And then this title is um, the Thickers 
thicker words from Amy Tan. Um, Amy Tan Rise and Shine. So, um, I've kept it pretty plain and simple. I mean, even though it's like really bright and, um, I don't know. I just like how it came out. It's really bright and loud, but at the same time, it's super simple because I, I didn't really add a lot of embellishments. You know what I mean? But it is a little bit on the busy side and I just have one of these, um, Teresa Collins sticker label thingies there. So yeah, that is another one of my layouts. Um, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.